Mexico has been, more than anything else, delicious. What we never realized was that how different Mexico was inside of Mexico. San Miguel de Allende. We ate as much as we possibly could. We checked into Rosewood Hotel, we had breakfast at Campagno, we tried chilaquiles, my god, chilaquiles, and we ate at a restaurant called Apere to discover the unique uses of amazing local ingredients. Puebla. Puebla was delicious. The first place we went was a Museo de Barroco. Now, that was unexpected because it's a museum that also served food. Rosewood Hotel in Puebla is shocking. It's a dangerous place to check in because you're never going to leave. One of the other restaurants we tried was called Moral de los Poblanos, or something similar when I don't say it correctly. What we ate was called Mole de Calderas. Caderas. Caderas? Caderas. I knew what it was, I knew how to order it, and I sure knew how to eat it. Unbelievable dish. Now, Agurio was unexpected. Agurio was a combination of traditional Mexican classic comfort food, specifically with the sauces that they make being all renditions of mole, with modern unique interpretations and cooking of protein. Round two. Third stop on the trip, Riviera Maya. Summarize, showtime. We checked into Gran Bella's Hotel, which is a massive hotel property that dominates the coast. It basically encompasses sand, ocean, and food, all into one beautiful, little, lovely, small package. We did Cirque du Soleil, because, you know, it's Cirque du Soleil. We ended up having dinner, checking out a cocktail, and seeing a most amazing show. Stop number four, the Yucatan Peninsula. We were everywhere. The word that summarizes it best would be tradition. We sacrificed myself within a cenote, we found flamingos, and we ate every single thing we could possibly imagine. We were within the markets, we were running around trying to find unique ingredients to be able to continue to understand the magic of Mexico. But one thing that we were able to do is eat a slow-cooked kind of young pig from underneath the earth. It was called Cuchinilla Pibil. And this is one of those preparations that I will hold dear to me for absolutely ever. Restaurant Cook was one of the standouts in the Yucatan region. What I loved about it was not only the creative and the talent and the innovation of what they were doing, what I loved about it is how each dish still paid homage and tradition, the traditional food of Mexico and the traditional food of that region. The feeling in the end of Mexico was very, very unique. Uh, it's very rare to go to a new country and have so many new experiences and still feel so comfortable throughout the entire experience. I think the fact that people absolutely love the tradition of what they do and the feeling of giving you something that they know is going to be delicious, that touches you. The people would smile from the streets to the children to the people that were, you were bumping into as you walked by. People were very friendly but also very proud of being where they're from and then the traditions that they have.